I know that you've been tackling the question, what's slavery got to do with us? And I thought that the, the, what the gentleman's saying there, um, a good way of phrasing a, a question that would perhaps engage with, with young people today and also bring things uh, to a, a current relevance, a contemporary relevance, is perhaps what, um, what slavery got to do with now. Uh, and I respect that uh, we have uh, some very dedicated historians here on the panel who are most interested in what happened then. But uh, the trick uh, and what matters with history is what's it got to do with the now. So I wondered, I know we've only got very, very little time, whether you would each like to try to make some connection, talk about the, whatever you see to be the contemporary relevance of slavery, whether it's in terms of the local uh, conditions in Oldham, you know, there's a lot of segregation there, there's a uh, high unemployment among the Asian community here, uh, or whether you want to talk about Manchester, or, whether, or Greater Manchester, whether you want to talk about the division or the, the, the differences between the, the West and, 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 and the South, whatever uh, you think to be of most burning relevance to the now, yeah? What's that connection that you make? Can I... It's a big question. It's a big question. I think it, it's, it's an excellent question. And what I wanted to suggest that it's that more debates, a series of debates uh, to be organized in the future. Because you cannot answer in five minutes. And, and as well, there's so many things we need to, um, to learn in order, in order to be able to debate. But uh, how you can relate? Actually, I mean, you just need to go to the supermarket and, and have a look at the history of some of the products there. And uh, in some quarters, I'm, I'm called the cornflakes lady uh, because I used uh, last year for the, uh, the bicentenary of the abolition of slave trade, uh, I used a, a pack of cornflakes as well as a bottle of Coca-Cola to talk about slavery and the abolition of slave trade and connected to today. And even if you look at even what kills us today, and uh, sugar, coffee, tobacco, etc., etc. Okay, ah, <laughs> thanks Pete. <laughs> Thought you might liven it up. Okay, for today, I would think about my son who is 18 years old and who I've taken to the Slavery Museum in Liverpool and he's refused point blank to have anything to do with it, to even acknowledge that it happened, to say that it's anything to do with him because the friends circle that he's in, they don't talk about things like that. So it's relevant today in that it was so horrific and it makes him feel so bad about being black, about being himself, about being from the Caribbean that he doesn't want to acknowledge it. So that's, that's the effects of it today. And it's only education that's going to get through that. I'd just like to say something about the importance of history because many of the things that you talk about, segregation, racism, those things, it's remarkable how, how often those things are defended on the grounds of dodgy history. And so the importance of discussing history and discussing these things, I think, does have real contemporary relevance in, in explaining what really happened. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think, um, obviously, you know, one of the big problems, I think, with racism is it, it's ignorant. And a lot of the ignorance is based on, like you say, misinformation. And um, when you start to unravel the information and actually show people what really goes on, what really went on in the past, it's amazing how quickly people's perceptions change. And, um, you know, we've got to get into young people at school, and we've got to start from when they're young. If we're going to eradicate racism, we need to really look at um, the way that we uh, teach young people, respect for each other and all the rest of it, but we need to use history as a kind of, of a, as a guide to, uh, to, to how people should uh, understand each other. So I think history is important, but we should also look at, you know, at how the, young, the new generation, the younger generations, the video game and TV generations, react with each, uh, relate to each other. Okay, I mean, I can just tell you about what happened where I live, which is city of Lancaster, 98% white. And we decided to make a difference in that city, and we built the first memorial to the victims of the slave trade in the slave port city. 
ten-year project and we did it in three years. People have to get off their backsides and do something. If they want people to remember slavery, they've got to get off their backsides and do something about it. And if you, and, and if you think it's difficult here, think about a place which has no, virtually no black community and what we had to do in order to persuade that, the, the councillors and everyone to come on board, and we managed it. And we now have a wonderful memorial there, built by Kevin Dawg Johnson, who some of you will know. So I, I just, I, I think, what, the way I talk about it is in form, as, as a guerrilla, as in guerrilla activity, memorialisation. And the other important thing we did was we had half the money for a memorial and half the money for education around the memorial. We went to every school in the district. That means that there's no vandalism of that memorial. In three years, there's been one very small bit of vandalism because everyone's on board. So I think it's really important that you think things through, that it's not just about, oh, we'll get hundreds of thousand pounds from Tony Blair and just do it. That, in fact, it can't be done unless there's a legacy with it. And I, I, I just think that, from my experience of helping to build a memorial, that that's had such a difference in the place that I live. I've got two children and they now know about slavery in ways they would never have been able to know if they didn't have to pass a memorial every day. That's, that's all. Uh, thank you very much for coming this afternoon for a really interesting discussion. And thank you very much to the panel.